ओके वेलकम दिस इज आर प्रेमानंद असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर गवर्नमेंट इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज आवेरी वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द मेस एनालिसिस यूजिंग द एसी कंपोनेंट्स इन दिस गिवन सर्किट वी हैव टू फाइंड द करंट i3 द क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्क्ड टू फाइंड द करंट i3 ओके सी i3 इज फ्लोइंग इन ऑल द लूप i2 इज फ्लोइंग इन द मेस 1 एंड मेस 2 सी कॉल दिस इज द मेस 1 दिस इज द मेस 2 एंड दिस इज द मेस 3 I1 is flowing in the mesh 1 only. I2 is flowing in the mesh 1 and 2. I3 is mesh 1, mesh 2, and mesh 3, respectively. All the currents, all these currents are flowing. Okay. So, in a, you can write the mesh three mesh equations. Go from mesh 1. We'll write the equation saying that 5 plus j 5 I1. So because 5 and j5 i1 is flowing 5 plus j5 is flowing in the mesh 1 only plus mesh 5 5 i2 plus 5 i3 is equal to 30 at an angle of 0 degree see all the current for mesh 1 all the three currents are flowing i1 i2 i3 all the three currents are flowing so Ah, uh, five plus j five i one, and the same five i two is flowing across same five i three is also flowing. So the current and this is called equation one. And mesh two, from mesh two, we will have the equation. Okay, five i one, five i one, plus five plus two seven seven plus six that is thirteen, that is thirteen. And in this loop, a uh, plus J three, okay, plus J three into I two, okay. Similarly, so I plus two seven plus J three ohm, and there is no uh, voltage, so it is equal to zero. See in this path, in this arm, okay. If assume that this is assume this is not here. Okay, so that in across this five ohm, both I one, I two, I three is flowing. So for equation five, I'll write I one separately. So the five I one, and if you come to I two, five plus two seven, seven plus six so thirteen, so thirteen real part, and two plus and and three is the three J is the so J three ohm, and similarly in this path, I three is also flowing. So five plus two seven, seven plus three. Uh, five plus two seven and J three ohm. So seven plus J three ohm. I three is flowing here. I three is flowing is equal to zero. From mesh three, okay, five I one, five I one and the uh, uh, mesh three. So that is seven okay, plus seven means you have to consider. You have to ignore both equations. Both this uh, vertical you have to ignore. For I two, uh, five plus two seven plus seven plus three J three. That is seven plus J three. This is I two. For uh, I three, five plus two seven, seven plus four eleven. So that is eleven plus J three into I three. The voltage is here, but it is again voltage is here. So. Okay. Before that, see. However, this side the voltage is not here. Whereas this side the voltage is here, so it is thirty at an angle of zero degree. So this becomes thirty at an angle of zero degree minus it is opposite to this. This is twenty at an angle of zero degree. It becomes ten at an angle of zero degree. This is the equation number three. Whereas this is the equation number one. We have got the three equations sub respectively. We have to find the I three. The question asked is to find the I three. First, I'll write the delta. Okay, I'll write the delta. Delta is equal to the first component. That is five plus J five into five into five and five. Second row thirteen plus J three into seven plus J three. This is delta component. Five seven plus J three 
11 plus J3. This is delta component. Similarly, delta 1, delta 1 is replaced by the uh, voltages in the column 1. So, in the column 1, that is 30 at an angle of 0 degree and 30 at an angle of 0 degree. and 10 at an angle of 0 degree and remaining second column and first column I have to take as it is 13 plus J3 and 7 plus J3 and third or 5 7 plus J3 and 11 plus J3 that is delta 1 similarly delta 2 means the voltage components will be at the uh, second row so that uh, 30 at an angle of 0 degree 30 at an angle of 0 degree 10 at an angle of 0 degree the first column is uh, replaced by the preview okay so 5 7 plus j3 11 plus j3 and delta 3 delta 3 means this voltage will become at the third column okay This is 5 plus J5, 5, 5, 5, 13 plus J3, 7 plus J3. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> this is using the grammar rule. We find the answers and we know that what is I3? I3 is equal to delta 3 divided by delta. What is delta? By solving with the help of Cramer's rule, we will get delta as 70 plus J620. 70 plus J620. And delta 3 as 860 Delta 3 minus 500 minus J700 in rectangular form or we can write that as 860 at an angle of 1 minus 125.5 degree. Okay, this is delta 3. Delta 3. Substituting that means I3 is equal to 860 at an angle of minus 125.5 degree whole divided by this 70 at an angle of this can be written in polar form as um, okay or directly directly may substitute with the calcium you can uh, convert that one 7 plus j620 and the answer becomes answer becomes answer is 138 at an angle of 151 answer is 138 at an angle of um, 138 at an angle of 151 degree okay okay